Hi, I'm Cheryl and welcome to the Sewing Room channel. It's viewer question and answer time and we've got some great viewer questions. So let's get started. Jody is considering buying a serger and she wants to know if it's a worthwhile investment. So let's take a look at my serger and I'll tell you the pros and cons of having it. Jody, most people get a serger is if they're going to be making a lot of clothing, then it is worthwhile. What it does is it finishes the raw edges off. It cuts the fabric off and binds the raw edge as it cuts. So it's very fast, makes an extremely clean edge. Now this one that I have is a high-end baby lock and it's called the Triumph. I don't recommend it if you are a beginner. Sergers come anywhere with three spools of thread they can hold up to eight, like this does. So you can use, four of these are used to do one particular function, and then the other four do a different type of function. If you're gonna go seriously look at the serger, go to a dealer store. They usually carry more than one brand, so you can get a chance or an opportunity to have the different brands demonstrated for you. The one thing that I do like about the Baby Lock sergers is that they are partially self-threading. And if any of you have had one of the old style sergers, they were a nightmare to thread. But Baby Lock has taken a lot of that problem area away. So that's why I really like it. Now they have entry level sergers all the way up to this big boy serger. So again, go to the dealer store, have them demonstrate it, and select the one that you think will suit your needs. Now some of you maybe have never seen a serger or really doesn't know what it does. So here is some denim fabric and denim unravels really, really easily. So most of your cotton fabrics really unravel easily. So when you're making clothing, you want to bind those edges. So I'm just gonna slip this underneath the presser foot a little bit. And over here is a very sharp blade where my thumb is. I'm gonna lower the presser foot and step on this and it's going to cut the fabric and then bind it as I sew. And I'm gonna pull some of it out. And then here is what it looks like when it's done. So the edges are perfectly bound and they're not going to come apart. So for those of you who wanna make clothing, it is worth the investment. Laura wanted to know if my wonderful husband Manny here runs the camera while making the videos. He did in the beginning, but his duties have really expanded and he's also been promoted to on-camera talent, so we have to keep him in shape for that so he looks good in front of the camera at all times, including our latest member of the family, little Scotty here. But I've added a couple of more people to helping me on my team and they are a huge help to me. And that's my wonderful daughter, Maria, who's also pregnant. I don't know how she's doing this and still being pregnant. And my wonderful son-in-law, Jamie. So let's take a look at a clip of what goes on behind the camera when we're making a video. Yvonne has stiff hands and she was concerned about what kind of scissors can she use that don't cause so much pain in her hands. So let's take a look at the different types of scissors that are out there. Yvonne, I'm left-handed, so scissors that look like this, that are specifically made for right or left, um, I don't really use these too much. 
So if you're right or left, these are just mechanically, you open them, them yourself. There's no spring action. When I want to use something that's not spring action, I prefer scissors like this because they can be left or right-handed. A lot of people who have difficulty with their hands, they've got arthritis, like these spring action scissors. So there's a lock on it and you just open it up and all you have to do is push in. You don't need to use your muscles to open them up. Here is another spring action. Now these are used for rag quilting and these also are a lot easier on the hands. Now the little snips. Here's some really inexpensive ones. You can find these at Joann's. I don't care for these so much. Even though they're spring action, they're not very sharp. Fiskars makes these and they're very sharp and it's got a little cover you can put on them. You unlock them and it's spring action so you can use these for your little snips. Now Fiskars makes these and these, these two spring action. And I believe these uh, left-handed scissors were also by Fiskars. Now, if you want to snip little pieces of fabric, get these curved tips. You can get in real close, you won't cut your fabric, and you can cut the ends of the thread very close to the fabric. This is a tip for all of you. I like to use these Fiskars scissor sharpeners. Now, they don't sharpen them really, really well, but if you're in a pinch and your scissors are dull and you're trying to just do a little bit of cutting and you can't quite do it, I use these. So like I said, they're not perfect, but you just stand it up like this, insert your scissors in like this, and you just close and pull back. And you just go back and forth a few times. And after you've done it a few times, you're usually able to finish your cutting. It's not great, but in a pinch, it works just fine. Paula wanted to know what my favorite quilt block is. And I had to think about it for a while. And then I, as I was looking at my quilts, I realized I've always been drawn to anything botanical. So this is my favorite quilt block, the strawberry. And in fact, I did do a quilt earlier this year in which I placed the strawberry in it. And this whole quilt is all botanical, fruits and flowers and leaves. So if you're interested in learning how to do fruits and flowers, then look for the link below your YouTube screen in the About section. Thanks for watching everyone. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram at The Sewing Room Channel and check out my Facebook page. See you next time and happy sewing! I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please click on the thumbs up button. Don't forget to click on share to share this video with your friends. If you haven't subscribed yet, click on that red subscribe button down there in the lower right hand corner of your screen. Don't forget to click on the bell and enter your email address so you receive email notifications about my latest videos. I'm Cheryl and this is a lot of manis. See you next time and happy sewing!